Good day. Did you ever thought of leveling a weapon? What was it? A blood letter? A war bow? Maybe bear paws? Some weapons can be easily leveled, while others require fame farming builds. That's what I thought. The best fame farming method. Easiest fame. The best PvE build. Their statements are correct. But one thing bothers me. You decided to max that one hard to level weapon. You watch the guide and start to use PvE build. You spent hours leveling it, and after all that work, eventually you'll start gaining combat fame credits. Then you spend more hours grinding these credits. You may say, well, that's an investment for the future. But I'm telling you, it is a waste of time if you're not planning to use any of PvE build pieces in the future. I myself decided to level a dagger tree. I had few options. Either spend tons of silver for combat fame credits with PvE build, or take the weapon itself and start doing PvE with it. The first option requires tons of silver. For a single weapon you'd need up to 30 million silver. Or you can disable auto respec, but then what's the point? No respec would only give you 80% of mobs fame you'd normally get with the weapon itself. While if you'd use the weapon you'd get 100% plus extra 40% fame in credits with no silver consumed. So in order for PvE build to be better, you'd need it to be 75% more efficient than the weapon itself. And if you don't have a PvE build ready, that's even more time spent. I decided to try a few, probably the hardest weapons to level to see if I can hit reasonable amount of fame per hour and compare it to the best options like nature or spy gauntlets. For such experiments, I went mess with 1200 IP, the best and most available option. My first weapon was a dagger pair and I managed to reach 2.9 million fame per hour. I tried other things such as wailing bow and still achieved 2.7 million per hour. Pole hammer, it was 2.7 million. Then I went arcane. I didn't use the E so it can be any weapon from the tree and still 2.7 million. Tried Staff of Balance, 3.1 million. All of that felt kinda sus to me. So now I tried Nature's Spy Gauntlets to see if numbers will change. They did. For Nature it was 4.1 million. For Spiked I had 3.6 million per hour. From raw value perspective it may seem like PvE weapons do the job much better, right? Uh, not really. If you use specific weapon, all fame you get goes to the weapon and armor pieces and up to 60% will be received as credit points, depending on how well your gear leveled up. That's already almost 3.8 million fame per hour for slow PvE weapons. But we are not done yet. Remember that with no respect you only receive 80% of weapons fame as credit points? So suddenly, now nature gains only 3.3 million fame per hour, which is 15% slower. Let's turn on the auto respect, but it will cost you up to 30 million silver. You might be wondering, how can one achieve such high fame values on a weapon like pole hammer? What stuff does one do in the mists? Well, once I enter the zone, I kill every single evolved mob I see towards the camp. I try to finish it with mobs around the camp and if there are none, then I have to do a little bit of mobs inside. Camp completion grants some fame and you get even more from the chest. The other great option is the abbey dungeon. It is more efficient if you do PvE in the abbey compared to the mists. But the amount of time it may take to find it can make it a worse option. I'm not sure here. So I just focused on mist mobs and if I had a chance to step into the abbey, I did. Wait, but all you use is cloth and if I would use leather armor, wouldn't I have less damage output? so I can farm as efficient as you. For that reason, I had a little research on that topic and brought you this table. First column shows the armor equivalent, like scholar rope, which can be replaced with druid rope. Second, third and fourth columns provide what passive damage bonus you should have. And last shows how much extra IP on a weapon is required to have the same clearing speed. If one wants to replace cloth helmet or boots, 
they'd need to hit extra 30 AP for each slot on the weapon. While PvE builds can be something that make you decent amount of money, if you're not planning to use PvE build outside of grinding combat fame credits, I'd recommend you not to spend time on it and just focus on your build you're planning to use. Hope this little research helped you increase fame farming efficiency and saved you some silver. Thanks for watching.